Hi folks, Steve here, Education Coordinator and Resident Quarantine Yeti. How are you getting on with your haircuts and your beards if you've got a beard? Um, I'm enjoying the natural look. I'm not sure if my bosses would agree if I was back in the office, but I'm not. I'm in my art studio. I've got a big mug of coffee and I've got my favourite old comfy shirt on, which means it's another art session. I hope you enjoyed the last one. Uh, thank you very much for all the feedback folks, I really appreciated it. Let us know if there's anything you fancy doing in the future. Uh, I've got plans for as long as you want to continue making art, so you're in good hands. Today, what I thought about doing is a little bit of sculpture and a little bit of drawing or painting and they're linked together. The idea is that we're going to take a little step back with what's going on and just here think about how you're feeling. You might hear anybody to ask you how you're doing. Yeah, you might be yourself in quarantine. You might uh, not even really be thinking about what's going on and just get on with your day to day. And I think sometimes it's really good and it's important to check in with yourself and your well-being and just take a good look at how you're doing. So today, what I thought about doing was a little bit of sculpture and a little bit of painting or drawing. Now, did not let either of the things intimidate you because as ever, there's no rules to it. This is just a basic kind of guideline. Get your teeth into it and mark it your own. The first part is also a little bit of a well-being check. I think all too often we don't actually check in with ourselves and, and really think about how we're doing and it's important. It's really important, especially in times like this with what's going on, to look after yourself. So what we're going to do is take a little step back for everything and mark a sculpture based on how we feel. Now, again, there's no rules to that. I've got a few ideas that you can use if you want, or you can literally just let your imagination go and throw yourself into it. Sculptures, are, it can be a contentious kind of thing. Often it's used in a really pretentious manner. I'm going to provide a couple of nice links to sculptors and artists that I really like, love, respect, admire, that maybe do things a little bit differently if they like the stuffy norm that you might be used to. The drawing part of it, again, it's going to be about the rules really. You then interpret what you've made sculpture-wise. Should be fun. Like I said, there's two parts to this. So you can spend a week doing it. You can spend a lot of time marking the sculpture. You can do something really quick and immediate based on how you feel. And you can really take your time rendering your, your drawing afterwards. What I'm going to do, much like the last video, is speak you through the process, show some examples of my work, so everything should be clear. But if it's not, just pause the video at any point, ping us a message if it's in hours, leave a message on the Facebook page for some of the other artists to pick up, maybe if you're looking for a little bit of guidance, advice. Uh, as ever, we reach out in the WA as a whole. Um, the peer element is hugely useful and I was worth using. So sculpture, it's essentially the only piece of art that exists in 3D. It can it encompasses everything from ancient civilizations making primitive clay shell deities to completely modern pieces of art made of huge vast pieces of steel constructed to be placed in public spaces for um, viewing pleasure. Although I'm going to send, leave a funny link below to an example of that going horribly, horribly wrong. The, an art, a fabulous artist called Richard Serra was commissioned to do a piece which was installed, just as I described, a huge kind of steel piece and it met so much complaint for the local workers in the area that it actually had to be removed and a big court case kind of ensued from it. I will dig out the link proper and you can have a read if you find that interesting. But I'm very aware of the time because we only have 15 minutes per video and luckily the last video that I made and spliced together was like 14 minutes and 40 or something. Purely by luck. So this time I shouldn't be waffling and I'm still waffling. Sculpture. Back on track, Steve. The elephant in the room. Yes, that is a tea bag pyramid. And I make no apologies. What I've tried to do for the basic materials I'm going to work with here is have them sort of relevant to this quarantine and this kind of time inside. And me and my wife have became painfully aware of the amount of tea we drink. And I wanted to capture it in some way that would be funny and not 
worrying when you see the pile of caffeine. Wood. I've been building stuff, loads of things, little house jobs, and I've collected some odds and ends. I mean, that in itself, it started off with, was a sculpture, but we'll mark something maybe a bit more kind of focused and considered as we go. And this is going to become a sculpture. Now, I spoke earlier about having a think about your well-being and a think about how you're feeling when you're doing this. And I've picked things that are relevant to me just now so I can maybe put a little bit of myself into them. And sometimes I blank my papers like that starting point just to make a list of how you're doing. Now, I don't mean this to be negative. It's just an example because it's absolutely fine to feel negative. Get a bit of paper. Write how you're feeling it. Bored. Fed up. Lonely. I mean, you might be feeling great. You might be having fun. It's all relevant. Every feeling you have is legitimate and perfectly acceptable, as long as it isn't doing you harm. How else can we describe this? I put boring. I'm going to put boring again because sometimes it's a little bit boring. And obviously that's how I'm feeling. If I'm bored or something, I would tend to deal with it in some manner. There we go. Sculpture. I know I said this was going to be pretentious, but that could probably consider to be incredibly pretentious if it was lying on the floor of an art gallery in a white space with a little fence around it. But for our purposes, we're just getting it out, how we're feeling, and then we're going to look at capturing that in some way with paint and pencil or biro or whatever you fancy later on. Teabag pyramid speaks for itself. I pictured it to be a geometric structure, it's really, but no, simply because I like Scottish blend and my wife drinks Yorkshire tea. Um, Yorkshire tea are square, Scottish blend are circular. If you can make a better teabag pyramid then feel free, I'll be impressed. And my wood off cuttings now, I genuinely have not planned this in any way and I'm going to show you just how easily you can put something together. And I, the only goal is for it to look pleasing to me and for it to feel right. I imagine a nail sticking out in some way. Actually, I quite like that. Look. And this long bit of stick here. And it really doesn't matter what you do, as long as you're enjoying doing it. Now, I could spend a long time, I can tell already, playing with this. I find that really pleasing, if that would balance. And ideally, I would have it balancing here. Now... I'm not sure if you'll enjoy watching me do this or you'll find it excruciating. Nope, I'm going to give up on that. But if you want to balance nails, feel free. I'm, I'm sure it's an incredibly soothing pastime once you get into it. Like balancing stones, my colleague, my esteemed colleague, Mr. Ross Weatherby, balances stones in his garden. I'll see if I can borrow one of his photos to show you because it's fantastic and very zen. Now, these bits, I don't feel like they fit, so we're going to ditch them. So here we are. Easy as that. Three sculptures. One pre-made, which took my ten seconds. This one, maybe a minute, but again, like I said, I could spend a long time just potting about with that. And this, just a nice little kind of genuine outpouring. And I suppose I really thought about how that made me feel when I put it together, but you know what? It made me feel quite calm. And I suppose that's a reflection of how I'm feeling just now. Calm. It's nice. Okay. Take your time with your sculptures or do them really quick and get them out of the way if you're looking forward to the painting and drawing. The key is just to make something. No pressure. No worries. And let's move on to the next bit, which is how we're going to capture it on a piece of paper. Right, you are not going to believe this, but... I managed to balance that nail. And if you're eagle-eyed enough to see the white sort of pasty material between the two nails, it is definitely not a blob of PVA glue. Just saying. Now, also managed to go horribly over time with the last uh, segment. So I have just begun. And I think that's sometimes the best thing to do when you're making art. Just get stuck in. Very easy to sit and look at a blank piece of paper. But anybody that's ever done a session with me will tell you that I'm an expert at getting you up and creating art. 
that little silence was me going a little bit wrong with the shape of that nail and then accepting it and being fine with it. It actually looks a little bit like a ancient cutlass. Maybe not ancient, or maybe still use cutlasses in the modern world, I'm not entirely sure, but they're very pirate orientated and they're definitely ancient. So here I am, just drawing. It's one of my favourite things to do. I think a lot of people that make art get caught in this kind of block. Certainly folk at paint and a lot of creatives really, people that write, and uh, they struggle to break out to it. And I think one of the best things to do is just to draw. And did you see how bonny that line just uh, lined up? And it was purely by accident. I didn't even mean for it to, to be there. I couldn't see what I was doing because my big clumsy hand was in the way. And uh, I always take it as a sign that the drawing's going exactly where I want it to go. So we're over. Yeah. So art is block. Very easy to get caught up in and you be able to do something. And I'm a, a huge advocate getting yourself a sketchbook and just doodling. Just like you do if you're on the phone. Um, there's been some fantastic art shows and, and books over the years documenting people's doodles, which is it's an art form itself, because there's a, a looseness that comes with it. You, you take away that kind of fear of someone seeing it for a start. You take away that kind of tightness you can get from you put yourself under pressure to create something in a certain way. And you just, the freedom as far I think a lot of creativity comes from. So, there we go. I'm very pleased with that. I've just outlined it. I've used zero technical ability in any way and I thought about anything beyond just enjoying drawing and speaking to yourselves and I think that's a really good approach to this and the whole idea if you remember when we spoke was about just checking in with yourself and seeing how you're doing and regardless of how the initial structures sculptures sorry well they're also sculpt uh, structures uh, regardless of how they came out the whole part of this is sort of processing it and be it positive or negative, like a drawing experience, if you're choosing to paint, a painting experience is um, pretty much always a really relaxing, nice, grounding thing that you can do. And hopefully that helps balance out any kind of feelings that maybe came out during this that were unpleasant for you. I always think art's the, a great resolve. Now, I'm just going to check the time, see what we've got left. We've got about 30 seconds left. If I was feeling brave, I would colour this, but I've got nothing completely to hand. I've got some felt tip pens. And here's the poor brown felt tip pen. It never gets used, so let's quickly do the rusty nail. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the session today, as ever. Leave a comment uh, back on the Facebook page or on this YouTube video. Let us know how you got on. Please share your artwork with everybody. And please continue to make art and look after yourself. All the best, folks.